This is a very special video about special triangles and radians. There's actually nothing special about this video, especially when you compare it to this special video. <laughs> I've got sine pi over six here. See, I'm gonna grab the special triangle that has pi over six. I'm gonna take a look at that pi over six angle and I'm gonna say, okay, I'm using sine, which we know is the opposite over the hypotenuse. In this case, the opposite would be one, the hypotenuse is two. And I can say that the sine of pi over six is one over two. For cos of pi over four, this time I'm gonna grab this triangle because this is the one that has the pi over four angle. And I'm gonna say the cosine ratio is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. In this case, it would just be one over root two. And you can see this is an exact answer. I'm not gonna round this and write it as 0 0.701. I'm writing it as an exact answer. You're looking at cosecant of pi over three. Cosecant is one of those reciprocal ratios. We know that's the reciprocal of sine. So if I were gonna be using the sine ratio, I'd be using the opposite over the hypotenuse. But in this case, I'm gonna use the hypotenuse over the opposite. So I'm going to take the hypotenuse, which would be 2, and put that over root 3, which would be the opposite side. So I have a 2 over root 3. Another thing you can do is you can determine exact values for angles that at first do not appear to be special angles. If you look at 4 pi over 3, that doesn't look like a special angle. It does have a 3 on the bottom and a pi on top. So we do know stuff about pi over 3, but we don't know things about 4 pi over 3. What we can do is use our understanding of the unit circle to plot this angle on this grid and find out what a good reference angle would be. And I'm just going to quickly do that. If I start here at zero and I rotate my terminal arm all the way around the unit circle, let's say I think about this in terms of pi over threes. And I'm going to count one pi over three, two pi over three, three pi over three. One more pi over three would put me into this quadrant down here. And that's the idea is that if you think about three pi over three is 180 degrees, that's not enough. I need one more pi over three, which would put me just over our three pi over three or 180 degrees. So that's where this angle would be right here, four pi over three. And what I can do is I can use a reference angle in the first quadrant, and I'm going to use a reference angle of pi over three. So what I'm going to do is bring out my special triangle here that has my reference angle, the pi over three. And I'm going to use the cast rule to determine what these exact values should be. So I'm gonna look at the sine of four pi over three and I'm gonna use my reference angle of pi over three. Because I'm in this quadrant here, I know that the only ratio that's gonna be positive is tan. I'm gonna take sine four pi over three. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna look at pi over three, opposite over hypotenuse should be root three over two but because I'm in this quadrant, sine must not be positive. So I put a negative in front of it. Same goes for cosine. I'm gonna look at pi over three. I'm gonna use the adjacent over hypotenuse. But again, because I'm in this quadrant, it must be negative. So I should have negative one over two. And for tan, I'm looking at the opposite over the adjacent, the root three over one. In this case, because I'm in the tangent quadrant, that's gonna be a positive value. Producing the reciprocal ratios is really simple. All I'm gonna do is flip the opposite of the hypotenuse for the sine to get negative two over root three. Secant, I'm flipping the adjacent over the hypotenuse to get negative two over one, also known as negative two. And for cotangent, flipping root three to get one over root three. And you can see all of the signs remain constant. If this video helped in any way, feel free to like and subscribe for more mathematical chaos. And as usual, thanks for watching. Thank you.